What's going on you guys, Geezer HD here. Today I wanna to do a quick video on how to install and configure the Pay to Spawn mod. Pay to Spawn is a mod that streamers use to allow viewers to make donations and spawn items into their world. Most commonly, Lucky Blocks. In my case, I do Lucky Box and Pandora Boxes. Probably not smart for the Pandora's Boxes. However, we're gonna go over how, how to get it up, all set up, A to Z, start to finish, to get a Lucky Block into your world, Let's make it happen. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we need to do, we need to get into the pack that you're gonna play. Um, I currently use them on Mad Pack 2. However, I'm just gonna do the demonstration on a very simple pack. All it is in it is Opus, Lucky Blocks, and Forge. That's it. Um, the whole reason I'm doing that is it's just quicker for the video, uh, less load time, meh, it's just easier. So go into your instances folder on AT Launcher if that's what you're using. Whatever else, we just need to get into the folder where your mods folder is. So in AT Launcher, we're going to click open folder in your instance, and we're going to go to the mods folder. Um, I will put the links for these mods down below. Uh, I've already downloaded them, obviously, so I'm not going to go through that again. And we're going to need two mods. We're going to need D3 Core, so we're going to put that into the mods folder. And then we're going to need uh, the pay to spawn mod. Currently, it's 2.5.0.213. Um, whatever version is out today, I don't know. That is what is out as of the time of this video. So, what we need to do now is we need to load up the pack so it creates the config files. Um, so we're going to hit play and start loading up the pack. And then once it's loaded, um, it's actually not going to load. It's going to crash because we're going to get an error message here in a second. Because it, we need to configure pay to spawn. So it says, please config pay to spawn properly before you tried launching this instance again. You should provide at least your channel in the config. Pay to spawn will crash otherwise. Okay. Oh, we're closed. So now we need to do the configuration part. So we're going to go back to the instances folder and go into the config folder. So there's two things we need to adjust here. Plugin matrix and then the pay to spawn config itself. First thing, easiest, let's do the plugin matrix. Um, this or metrics this is a some kind of thing that tracks stats and whatnot i haven't figured out any way to make this work so i'm going to just opt out of it so we're going to change opt out to true and we're going to save this file and we're done with that now we're going to go into the pay to spawn folder and we're going to open the pay to spawn config um which you do this as is dependent on which um program you use for tracking your donations I use Donation Tracker, so I'm going to use that exist example. Almost like halfway down the page, a little more than halfway for me. So we need to change, do three things here. We need to put our API key in. That way it's going to know when a donation comes in. Your channel, obviously, and we need to enable it. I'm not going to put my API key in because meh, I don't want everybody to have it. This will work without the API key. However, donations won't work, um, but the pack will work. Um, my channel is Geezer HD, as you know, and we want to say enabled true. Um, the API key you're going to find if you're using Donation Tracker. There's a tab called Settings on the on the uh, app. Go into there. There's the API. All right, so save that, and we'll close that, and we're going to launch the pack again. Once the pack is launched, this is when the magic's gonna happen. Um, I run full screen mode, so I'm gonna have to change change that here in a second because we're gonna have to change to a different window once this comes up. All right, so I'm gonna get out of full screen mode. I'm gonna maximize it so it, you can see the whole screen. We're gonna create a new world. Uh, we're gonna do this um, P2S uh, testing. And we're gonna, it's gonna be game mode survival. Options, cheats, okay, done, and create new world. You don't have to do cheats, but I always do, just in case. Meh. So what the first thing we need to do is we need to get a block that is going to be seen as an entity by the game. Perfect sand. So just on its own, if we just put a block of sand here, it just looks at it as a block. Great. But we need we need an entity because what we need to do is we need to have Lucky Blocks place as an entity. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to have this fall. 
When the block falls, Minecraft looked at that as an entity. So, we're going to use that. So now we need to do two things here. First thing we need to do is turn on pay to spawn. So we're going to run the command slash P2S on. I don't know that you really necessarily need to do this every time. However, I do just to be sure. The second thing we need to do is P2S configure. Configure. This is going to open another window. This is our configuration for our rewards window. Um, it comes with an example. Nah. Well, whatever. We're going to get rid of that. I'm going to remove that group. And we're going to create our own. So we're going to name it. I'm going to call this Lucky Block. Lucky Block. Block is spelled with an O-C-K instead of C-O-K. And however much you want to charge for a Lucky Block. I charge $5 on my stream. That's just me. Um, and then you want to put a message. Um, you don't have to do this this way. Just the way I do it. And A. And we go dollar sign. Name. Just donated a lucky block if I can spell good luck okay so that's the message that's gonna that's gonna mess the message that's gonna show up when when a donation comes in and the reward is given so we want to spawn a custom entity so we're gonna go down to the very bottom of the list here and we're gonna open that by double clicking this is where the fun part comes this is where our config is going to come from. So we're going to right, or we're going to click on this "Import the next mob." You right click in game, and we're going to go back over to Minecraft. This is the fun part. This is the challenge. When we we're going to place this block of sand, while it's falling, it's considered an entity. While it's there and there, it's considered a block. So while it's falling, we need to right click on that. So if I can do this first time, I'm going to be really shocked and surprised with myself most likely it's going to take me a couple. So what we need to do is right click it to place it and then right click it as it's falling. So let's give it a shot. Here we go. I think I might have got it. Holy cow. So let's go over. I did. I got it. Yay. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like now once you've gotten that proper capture of that entity. Um, the next thing you need to know is what the ID of your lucky blocks are. I know that my lucky blocks are item or tile ID 165. So we're going to go down this list and we're going to find title, tile ID. And right now it says 12 because that's what the block ID for sand is. We're going to change that to whatever the item number your lucky block is. Most it's 165. I think it's default is 165. We're going to change that. And then we're going to come down here to spawn radius. It's default is 10. We're going to change that to 1. That way it's going to spawn with one, one block of you. Um, so that's all we need to change in there. We're going to click three buttons we're gonna click parts from JSON update JSON and save and then we're gonna come back here you can add some other things if you want to add fireworks you can uh, you can add some music I just do the custom entity and then we're gonna click save as new group and we're done so now we go back to list there we are we can close that window we're gonna go back to game the way you test this um, with a fake donation is we go slash p2s donate and the amount so i'm going to say p2s donate five and we're going to hit it and there there's our lucky block um, we'll do it one more time just to show you it's working p2s donate five and there it is so now we've got our lucky block in the world you can do this with any entity that's how i did it with uh, i did the same basic thing with pandora's boxes I just used the item ID of the Pandora X box instead of the Lucky Block. So there you go, guys. That's how you do it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, again, the links for the mods are in the description below. Uh, make sure you comment. Uh, if you have any comments, subscribe, like it. Uh, head over to Twitch, guys. Follow me over there on Twitch. Enjoy the live stream. Twitch.tv slash Love your faces. See you later.